Hi everyone and thanks for watching. Um, this video is particularly significant in my history and it's the first one I've made um, with my machine running Pathpilot. It's always been Mach 3 in the past. Uh, changing it to Pathpilot has been quite a job um, since I had to replace all the tool changer electronics and this is the first time that that's broken cover. Um, it's completely compatible with standard Pathpilot. In fact the only modification I've made to my Pathpilot is a one line change to explain to it that my 440 has a 10 tool changer, not 8. Um, when I built it for Mach 3, I built it with 10 pockets and I wasn't going to build another one just to keep Pathpilot happy. So, nothing else to say. Um, I'll let this run. It's making the uh, top of the case for one of the wireless probes. So, if you've got one of those, maybe it's interesting to see how it works. Um, if you haven't, maybe it'll uh, coax you to dash out and buy one. I'd be really happy. Anyway, enjoy the video. Here comes the first public tool change. Now it gets to cope with a tool that's too big to fit in the tool changer without hitting the micro arc. The most irritating thing about Pathpilot so far is uh, the incredible delay it, st it inserts at the start of every operation as it waits for the spindle to spin up. Far too long. I have to board with them about that. Okay, now the screws that have been drilled so far, uh, the holes rather, are for screws that mount a little, little display, but while we're manufacturing it, they're actually used to improve the uh, rigidity of the fixturing, so we can mill out the window, so just a little delay here while I put the four screws in.
And that's how it's done. It's a bit like being a new dad this, except I don't have to wake up in the middle of the night. What could be better? Thanks for watching. Bye.